who was your favorite mentor and definitely harif prasad sir and Let's don't tell my name because i'm taking your interview <laughs> no it's vikas i i i could understand genetics and seed technology thoroughly because of you so that's that's the reason that is the only reason <laughs> but only for two months that's the thing yes, just only for two months uh i have started to prepare i didn't have enough time so i started i shifted to agrarian notes i completely read the notes for all the subjects for all <laughs> for all the subjects i prepared only agrarian notes and i have completely revised it for two to three almost two to three times mm. so yeah I, i completely relied on agrarian notes i must say this thank you so much for your notes and thank you so much for your classes it really meant a lot to me hello everyone welcome back to our youtube channel agri addict i am your mentor ari prasad so today in this video like we have sahana who has secured all india 67th rank in icr pg exam plan census 2024 and she is here to explain us how she has prepared for our exams the list of resources that she has used and overall preparation journey uh, she will be able to share everything with us uh, first of all i welcome you to this session sahana before we proceed i request you to please introduce yourself uh, hello all i'm sahana um i'm i have completed my ug from anamalai university i'm from tamil nadu um i have secured 330 marks in icr pg examination and my ogpa is 9.11 um, and my rank is 68 uh, i have allotted to university of agriculture science bangalore in okay. pathology department okay in the plant pathology okay plant so pathology. like you mentioned your ogpa like uh, is it the highest or uh, there are students above you it's uh, one among the highest but not the highest one among the highest and the annamalai university like it is affiliated to some uh, government university or it is completely private no 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 it's affiliated to government university affiliated to tnu tnu yes okay Okay. so you uh, like before the removal of the accreditation also like your university had this opportunity to write this exam like your university students or it is only after the accreditation to university is accredited sir okay like even before the accreditation was removed like your university was eligible to get the, take this exam like your university students yes sir yes sir we are eligible to take the exams only some universities are not uh, ready to accept the students okay. but we are eligible yeah fine okay Now so, it's accredited. Now this accreditation concept itself is now removed, and any student from any from India who is getting into the B.Sc. Agriculture can write this exam. So no such okay. eligibility criteria as before. Okay. So first, uh, now since, since you have secured uh, all India sixty seventh rank in this exam of ICR PG Plan Sciences, so let's start to know about your uh, journey of your preparation. So before that, uh, a very common question and the same question which i asked to every topper is like why msc um i have i'm interested in science usually i'm interested in biology so i wanted to pursue this is higher studies uh, i wanted to pursue higher studies okay so have you planned anything after msc or like you will be planning now uh, no sir So I have not, planned not not given thought into it. Okay. But I'm really interested in research, so I really want to do research in phytopathology. Okay. So basically interested in plant pathology and looking forward to do a quality work in the same field. Yeah, yes. that's nice. Okay. And next, like why plant sciences? Uh, it's obvious that I'm interested in biology, sir. Uh, from eleventh and twelfth, so. and i and i also prepared for neat so some basic concepts are covered in neat like genetics and plant physiology so automatically so you have I been interested in to the subject of plant science yes, sir. yes okay. sir right so what was the total duration of your preparation like how many months or years you have prepared for this exam <laughs> it's not it's not a year it's just only for two months uh I have started to prepare. Okay, only for two months you have prepared for this exam and secured sixty seventh rank. Yes, sir. Only for two months. Okay, is it for real? Like you have prepared only for two months? 
yes sir it's a because of agnetic nodes i think okay yeah it's i'll come possible. to that later yeah so the total duration is mainly only 2 months yes sir it's 2 months okay and like in this 2 months like how many hours you dedicated for preparing uh, for 2 months i have prepared for almost 10 to 14 hours and even higher it okay it's it almost 10 to 14 that. hours so like if a student is really on an average like they spend around 4 to 5 hours per day and you have spent 10 to 14 yes, hours I so like how three. much time so yes sir. <laughs> It's so almost uh, three times that you have prepared. So I can take it as a like, total six months preparation. <laughs> the time. Yes. Yeah. But it remains the same like you have prepared only for two months. That's the thing. Yes, okay. Yeah. So since like you have started for only two months, like I am very curious to know like how did you manage to start? Like what was your beginning? Like how was your beginning? How did you start your preparation? Like just tell us more about your preparation journey. I started with the previous year question paper, sir. Okay. I completely, yeah. I really wanted to be good, uh, clear in the concepts of the previous year question papers. Um, then I started genetics, plant breeding, okay. then pathology, then other minor subjects like microbiology, plant physiology. Um, but yes, so these things like you like analyzing the previous year papers and starting the subjects one by one, it is in within these two months only, not before that. No, sir. Uh, I have joined your classes in the fourth year itself, but I didn't study uh, due to some rave works and I didn't uh, I didn't even work. see the classes. I didn't even attend the classes. I, I didn't attend the live classes. Okay. I completed the classes only in the last two months. I have prepared the prepared only in the last two months, and I also revised in the last two months. So, yes. Okay. It's all the main thing is like it's about the two months that you yes, have. Yes, it's about the two months. <laughs> okay. Next, the very same question that every student wants to know is like the sources you have utilized for your preparation or the books if if you have referred like which one you have referred <laughs> so for books uh, i started reading fundamentals of genetics by bd singh but uh, i didn't cover i didn't completely read the book uh, i didn't have enough time so i started i shifted to agraric notes i completely read the notes for all the subjects for all, for all the subjects, I prepared only agraric notes and I have completely revised it for two to three, almost two to three times. Mm, so yeah, I, I completely relied on agraric notes. I must say this. Thank you so much for your notes and thank you so much for your classes. It really meant a lot to me. So what else like as a mentor, like I like expect, I can expect from a student if some student is saying that. I completely relied on your materials for the preparation and yes, I was yes. able to get a very good rank just by following this. Like nothing else can satisfy me more uh, than what you have said. Thank you so much in trusting our platform and also our resources, which you have utilized in the best possible way. And you have able to secure a very good rank. Okay. So next one, like uh, how much time you have taken? It's two months, right? Like to finish the syllabus. In the first go, like you, you took the complete two months, or within that, like you have finished the syllabus. No, sir, I I have never finished the syllabus before two months. I just read the fundamentals of genetics. I started to read the fundamentals of genetics, but I didn't even complete it. Mm -hmm. uh, only in the two months, I started to read the notes, mm -hmm. and I completed. Okay, and if I talk about the revision, like since you are preparing, like uh, for. Uh, 10 to 14 hours a day like uh, if you remember like how many times you have revised the every chapter or every topic or every subject yes sir it's almost two to three times only two to three times because uh, i don't have much time to revise mm -hmm. so two to three times so since like you have uh, uh, said about our classes the materials that we have given and you have completely followed the classes and notes and the mock test that was given by agredit so just one question to ask you like who was your favorite mentor and like which subject like you like the most in the agreed courses okay uh, i have two favorite mentors yeah. uh, and don't one is 
of course definitely harifla sir and Let's don't tell my name because i'm taking your interview <laughs> no it's vikas i i i could understand genetics and seed technology thoroughly because of you so that's that's the reason that is the only reason okay. and then kavya ma'am uh, she's for plant breeding she's very good at it so yeah thank you thank you, you too are my favorite yeah thank you thank you so much for all the appreciation so <laughs> uh, i must thank you for for the work you have given yeah yeah well thank you thank you so much for all the appreciation okay so since you have said oh, the most of the things that you have uh, used for your preparation so one thing i want to ask you is like see this is the one thing every student is afraid of it's about the confidence when you face the exam since like you were knowing like your friends like other people who are preparing for the same exams you might be aware that the people start preparing for this exam one or two years before the start of day of the exam and also like okay. minimum 6 months like students will dedicate for this exam comparing all this like simultaneously side by side like these things are going on like what was your confidence level on the day of the exam like what did you think before giving this exam for all mindset definitely my confidence is not at the high higher level but uh, i really wanted uh, to give my best um, so i i don't okay. have much thought and other things i really want to be on the questions i okay. see so yes. you did not think much you only wanted to give your best and you did not do a overthinking just you have okay. gone and given the exams no i didn't and... overthink yeah yes, i really want to give the best with yeah. yes <laughs> so after like uh, coming after coming from the exams like if you have you felt like okay if i would have worked on this particular subject or the area i would have done better is there anything like that that you have felt after the exam uh no i thought like uh, it, it's the best i could do because okay. within two months i i really think no, like if really what i want to that... say is like if you have given with us more time uh have you like found out the lacunas like uh, if this area if i would have worked yes. out, um yeah. uh i i analyzed the previous year question paper thoroughly but still i made mistakes from the questions which which came related to the previous year question papers i oh. i really felt sad for that because i have analyzed the questions thoroughly and i re- really uh mm, com- clear the topics from the previous year question papers but still i made mistakes on that i wish i shouldn't okay, have done, done that so one important thing is see like it's not about like you only prepared for two months uh, it's about like you have made some mistake in the exam otherwise like whatever you prepared in the two months it would have also faced you uh, very good still a very good rank that you, that what that is what you are saying like it's, I, it's the thing like you knew it but because of the exam pressure like you could not correctly analyze the things yes it's because i knew it that's the, okay that's what made me say yeah so this is one thing that i would also tell each and every student who is watching this video it's not about like how many months you prepare for the exams or it's not about the how much syllabus you cover on the exam day before that all these things matters yes i agree with but on the exam day these things doesn't matter it's about the confidence you have and the mind that you put on a uh, day that's it like only two things keep these two things in mind do not overthink during the day of the exams just try to give your best and also try to minimize the mistakes and try to an- analyze each and every questions that you get in the exams do not think anything else if you do this even like uh, we have a live examples where a student who is just prepared for two months for one other for some other other reasons like she, she couldn't able to prepare during her uh, of uh, fourth fourth year of uh, our ug but still she has managed to secure a very good rank by utilizing the limited resources or the resources which she had with a limited time okay so this is uh, that's it from my side and i just have two more questions like one is i already asked you like what what are your plans after msc like you have said like you are still at to plan for this okay and the last question like what is your overall suggestions to your juniors like what is your suggestion to the juniors like who will be watching this video who are planning or who are already planned to give this give this exams in the subject of plant sciences 
um my only suggestion is uh, don't think it's too late to prepare because if you if you start to prepare now you will definitely crack the exam you will definitely get a good rank i, I won't suggest you to study uh, at last two months please <laughs> <laughs> even Try to even i don't prefer like i don't say <laughs> want to just yes. relax my our materials and yes. not go for standard yes. books but uh, like we have a examples that's what i am trying to uh, show everyone yeah please don't be panic mm -hmm. that's what i want to say uh, start prepare from now you'll definitely get good ranks and my most important tip is to rely on the previous year question papers don't neglect neglect any question paper um try to uh, think don't blindly read the questions and don't blindly read the answers just try to think uh, what are the other questions related to that questions um so it will be very helpful um in your exams this this is this was helpful for me so okay. this is the only one tip i really want to give you all Okay, so just rely on the previous year question papers. Do a proper analysis of the questions that are being asked in the exams in the previous year. Don't just like try to questions. find yes, yes sir. and yes, sir. Uh, try to just find out like what pattern the ICR is following or uh, the things are coming in the previous years, and that is yes. how like you can simplify your preparation. Okay, yes, you have to analyze the... yeah. Yes. yeah, please, please. Before starting your preparation, please analyze uh how's the question uh, question paper will come and uh, how's the portion don't overread the books read what is necessary so that's important okay and one more thing like i did not ask it's about the mock test we did not mention anywhere yes. like uh, you have attended the mock test or you did not have time to attend the mock test like how it was uh, i have i have attended the mock test just 20 to 30 mock tests i didn't have much time okay uh, so what did you but feel about the mock test that you have attended is was it helpful or it's it's definitely helpful please do uh, try to do mock tests cuz it will be very helpful for your exams mm. yeah like doing so questions will help. help yeah so if like i would also suggest That's you like the uh, one mistake uh, i did you should have attended more mock tests more mock tests that yes. this thing like you have said it in the to talk with toppers i guess yeah. So I think that related like, to mock. Yeah, ma'am might be some other student. I just uh, yeah, remembered now. Okay. So like I also say to students, if you are neglecting mock tests, that is the worst thing that you can do. Always go for the maximum number of mock tests and also which mock test you are choosing and which mock test you are attending, that also becomes equally important. You have to just search for the standard set of mock tests and only attend them. Because if you are attending the mock test randomly without just verifying its standard, then it would be like underconfident because there will be a lot of questions outside the syllabus that might come to you. Okay. So this is from my side, additional to what the Sahana has said. So Sahana, like uh, I'm very happy to interview you for this session. I was literally very much excited to know the things from you. I'm very thankful that uh, like you have uh, uh, paid some time to just guide your juniors through this session. I wish you all the very best for your future studies. And we are always here to guide you. Like if you need any kind of assistance in the future uh, days, like please, uh, you can contact me anytime. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much for your time. I wish you all Thank the best. You.